Oh, what a friend I have in Jesus. All my sins and grief he bear. What a privilege I have that I can come before God's present in prayer, believing that Jesus hear and he answer prayer. So this morning, most righteous and eternal God and our Father, I come in no other name but the name of Jesus. And this morning I want to say, Lord, I realize and I understand that I was in darkness. And you came and shine your light in my pathway and call me. I hear the voice calling unto me in that dark place that I was in. I answer the call. And you, Jesus, have rescued me. This morning, I can sit here and tell the world that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is my deliverer, my way maker, my provider, and also my problem solver. Jesus can be the same for you. If you, my viewers and my subscriber, who is watching, wherever you're watching from morning, evening, night or day, if you only realize and understand that Jesus is calling you, Right now, the voice that you are hearing, ignore the voice that you are hearing right now. Jesus is the one who is calling. When Jesus called me, I was outside of a church, watching inside. I never look in the church with a plan to go or come there for the service that was taking place. I was standing outside looking in the church and all these young girls that was inside this church sitting down and praising God and whatever it is. So when the preacher began to preach, the preacher started to preach and he was saying some things that reflect unto me. And because these things was reflect unto me, they was like bringing some different upsetting feelings to me because I'm saying these things is happening to me. No, when Jesus is calling us, Jesus is not a man who come in front of you and said specifically this. God used his disciple, he used his preacher, he used his man, he used me, and he used who he can use to reach us. So that night, God has used that man to speak things that affect my life. So this is how God called me. So when the altar call call, I was still at the altar, still looking onto these girls, waiting for church to over, that when these girls come out, we can approach them. But that altar call call, and my spirit was touched. God touched my spirit. So God called me. So I walk into the church that night, and I walk to the altar, where that night I make a decision to follow God. So Jesus called me that night, I answer, and here I am this morning, giving God glory and praise. And I'm just going to read a couple of scripture, and I'm going to go into prayer this morning. And the first one I'm going to read, I'm going to read um, Romans 10. And it said, Romans 10 and verse 13, and it said, For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I read that again, my viewers, because I want you to get it. It said, For the wages of sin hmm. Hmm. My viewers, God is good, you know. 
God is good. I was reading that wrong, you know. It said, Whosoever, let me go back. To, let me read um, this one. Um, I have of a scripture. I have, um, <coughs> right, so yeah. Um, Psalms 27, 1 and 2. This is another scripture. Psalms 27, 1 and 2 said, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even mine enemy, and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. So, when I was out in the world, pleasing the enemy, doing all my manners and evil of things that I was doing, Jesus was my deliverer. The enemy was out there pulling me, dragging me, enticing me to do things like break into people's shop, break into people's houses, steal people's things, messing about with women. That's what the devil have me, pulling me left, right, and center, doing his own evil things. But Jesus, he said, I will not leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Even to the end, I am with you. And that's where, that's where um, Romans, not Romans, sorry, that's where um, Philippians Philippian 4, he said, But my God shall supply all your needs as according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So, Philippians 4, Philippians 4 and verse 19 is saying, But my God shall supply all your need as according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So, Jesus is the supplier. He is the deliverer. He is the way maker. He is the provider. And that's why God said, he said, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Even to the hen, I am with you. These are not my word. These are the word of God. I will not leave you. Neither will I forsake you. Even to the hen, I am with you. <laughs> And that's why I like, I never plan for reading scripture, but I'm going to go for it. This is one of my favorite, favorite scripture. My favorite, favorite scripture. I love this scripture so much. And I have to read this one. I never plan to, to go here. But before I go into prayer, I'm going to read this one. Um, John 3.16. It's one of my favorite scripture. And it said, For God... So loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but shall have everlasting life. <laughs> we shall have, if we only believe in him, you know, if we only believe in him, we shall have everlasting life. He said, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So if we only believe in him, trust in him, walk in him with him, live with us according to his word, the word of God is everything. Jesus is the word. The word is Jesus. And if God is the word and the word is him, all we need to do is live the word. Meditate on the word. Walk as God to the word. Jesus is able to deliver, to set free. He is Casa Mama Sondo. There is nothing. There is nothing that 
God cannot do if we only believe and trust in him. I love Jesus. When I said I love Jesus, I love him. Because what? He is the only way and no other way. Jesus is the only way. He is the creator. Jesus is the creator. He is the one who created heaven. He created earth. And he created everything on it. I learned to trust in Jesus. I learned to take him as his word. His word is life. When I, when I, Kasa Baba Soko Todobo Shanda, yes, Lord. When I was down on my face and I have nothing, Jesus was there for me. When I was going through my accident and my, my sickness, and He was there. He said, Jesus said, Call on me. He said, Call on me and I will answer you. He said, Call on me. And I will answer you. I will show you great and wonderful things that I can do. Jesus is saying, if you just call on my name, Jesus, and believe by faith, whatever you ask in my name, I shall... Did you get that? He said, call on me. Call on my name, Jesus. Whatever your situation is, whatever your problem is, I am able and capable to deliver you. I am capable and able to set you free. Whatever the problem is, whether you're homeless, jobless, foodless, what a sickness, whatever your problem is, put it to me. I am able to do whatever you ask me. But if you only believe by faith, I love the word, believe by faith. Believe by faith. Believe by faith. I always use this example. I plant a seed in the ground by faith. I watch the seed grow. That is my faith. And I wait and the reward, the reward, the word reward is reaping, is reaping. I am here reaping the reward of Jesus. God have called me from sin to grace. I have answered the call. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. He provides for me in every way. I am here this morning. I am reaping the reward from Jesus. I sit at this table this morning. I am not working. I am not hungry. I am not naked. I am not suffering. I am mortgage free. I have a nice car to drive around. I am not indebted to anybody because Jesus make a way for me when there was no way. God want to do the same for you. But you have to believe in him. You have to trust in him. You have to plant that seed of faith. Watch that seed grow. Watch that seed blossom. Watch that seed bear. And you reap the reward. I am reaping the reward from Jesus right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I bow my head before your presence this morning. I am worshiping you. I am praising you. I am honoring you. I am thanking you, Jesus, for your loving, tender care and mercy. Jesus, you are wonderful. You are loving and you are kind. I give you the glory, the honor, and the praise that you deserve. Jesus, when I wasn't thinking of you, you were thinking of me. When I was out in the world minding my own business, doing my own thing and not thinking of you, you were thinking of me. Jesus, Jesus, when I was out in the world minding my own business, 
doing my own sinful things, not thinking of you. You were thinking of me. God, you said in your word, I will not leave you. I will not forsake you. Even to the end, I am with you. Jesus, I believe your word. I get to know you for myself because you are my deliverer. You are my way maker. You are my provider and you are my problem solver. This morning, Lord, as I sit at this table, I look to you and I said, Jesus, thank you for your loving, tender care. Thank you for your mercy. Jesus, you are merciful. You are wonderful. You are loving and you are kind to me. Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you for calling me out of the dark into the light. I was once in the dark, but Jesus, you, Christ Jesus, shine your light in my pathway and show me the difference between rights and wrongs. Jesus, I make a decision to accept right. I make a decision to come out of the darkness and come into the light. I make a decision to walk in the light, live as according to the light. Jesus, you are the light. The word of God is the light. I accept the light. I am no more in the dark. Jesus, the things I used to do, I do them no more. The place I used to go, I go there no more. The things I used to say, I say them no more. I am a new creature born in Jesus Christ. I am living. I am living today because of the goodness of Jesus. I am living today because God, you give me another chance. I am living today because you are my deliverer. I am living today because Jesus, you saved me from accident and disappointment. I am living today because God, you see something in me to save my life. And I take this moment to say, Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your tender care towards me. Jesus, you deliver me from a burst appendix. You deliver me from a pit. You deliver me from a car accident. You deliver me from a machete. Jesus, you deliver me from a bowl obstruction. You deliver me from, from a blood clot. You deliver me from prostate cancer. Jesus, this morning, he kabasa koto doboshi kababai sokoto. Zakanda ya mama konde si kababai sokoto. Zakanda ya mama ando sekete debe shi kababai sokoto. Zikanda makando sekete. Jikende basoko torobo shi kababai sokoto. Zanda mando sende. Zikaya babai sokoto robo shanda. Zinga ya basongo sekere bezekende zika mama sando. Jesus. I am ando sende basako torobo shandai. I praise the name of Jesus. I worship the name of Jesus. I glorify the name of Jesus because you are wonderful, loving, and kind to me. You are merciful to me, Jesus. You are merciful to me, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. When I wasn't thinking of you, you were thinking of me. Jesus, when I weren't thinking of you, you were thinking of me. Thank you, Lord, for your loving, tender care and mercy. Thank you for your loving care and mercy, Jesus. I praise the name of Jesus. I worship the name of Jesus. I honor the name of Jesus because God you are wonderful. You are merciful. You are loving. And you are kind. Jesus, in spite of my wicked ways, in spite of my evil ways, in spite of my sinful ways, 
but Jesus, you went to the cross where you've been crucified for my sin. Your blood was shed for my sin. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for take yourself to the cross where you've been crucified. Your blood was shed for my sin. God, you never stopped there. You went to the tomb where you was buried, but you never stayed there. You raised from the dead and extend my life. Jesus, you raised from the dead and extend my life. That one like me can sit here today and say, Jesus, you are my deliverer. You are my way maker. You are my provider. You are my problem solver. When you raise from the dead, you extend my life, Jesus. When you raise from the dead, you extend my life. And that's why one like me can sit at this table this morning and say, Jesus, thank you for extended life. Thank you for extended life. Jesus, at the age of 10, in that precipice, 10 o'clock in the night, you saved my life. Jesus, when that appendix bursts inside of me, you extend my life. When I break into the man's shop and he attack with the machete, you extend my life. Jesus, when the vehicle turn over and roll, you extend my life. God, Jesus, when that bowel obstruction, emergency operation, you extend my life. I can go on and go on and go on and say, God, for your goodness, for your mercy, for your love, and for your tender care, I can sit here this morning and tell the whole wide world that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is alive and well, and he is my deliverer, my way maker, my provider, and my problem solver. To God be the glory, great and wonderful things God have done for me. Great and wonderful things God have done for me. And God want to do the same for you. If you only believe and trust in him. If you only believe and trust in him. He is able to do beyond and above. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. This morning. I pray for this town of Luton. I pray for each and every individual that live in this town of Luton. God, I pray for each and every person that travels this morning. Wherever they travel here, land or sea. I pray that the grace of God, the power of God, the anointing of God and the blessing of God will be with them to deliver them safely to their destination. Lord Jesus, this morning, I pray for every person that's sick. Whatever your sickness is, Jesus is capable and able to deliver you. Believe in Jesus. Look to him. God is ready to heal somebody this morning. Lean on Jesus. Trust on him. Put your faith and confidence in him, Jesus. And he will deliver you. Heavenly Father, this morning I pray for my neighbors. My joining neighbors and my surrounded neighbor, Lord. Lord, touch each and every person in this neighborhood that I live. Lord, make a way when there is no way. Speak, oh God. Use who you can use to reach your children, Lord. Lord, this morning I thank you. I pray for my family, my wife and my children. My grandchildren, my sisters and my brother, my niece and my nephew, my in-laws. 
God, I pray that the power of God, the hands of God and the anointing of the Holy Ghost will come upon them. To give them wisdom, knowledge and understanding. To know who you are. To bring them out of darkness into light. Let them know that Jesus is the light of the world. God, I thank you this morning as I humble myself, knowing, oh God, that I cannot do nothing without you. So I am asking this morning to hear and answer my prayer, Lord. This morning, God, I bring Lucy Pentecostal Church before you. Lord, you know every person that connected to Lucy Pentecostal Church. Jesus, you place Pastor Ferry as our leader to lead us. Lord, I pray that you will give him wisdom. You will give him knowledge. You will give him understanding, Lord. Lord, I pray you will feed him with the right word, the right stuff that we, oh God, will receive. We will hear. We will understand. <clears throat> Jesus, touch him from the crown of his head and to the sole of his feet. Wash him in the blood of Jesus. Sanctify him, oh great God. Make him the person, oh God, who you create him to be. Lord, I pray he will not change our water, the word that you give him, Lord, but he will deliver as you give it unto him. Lord, we know that all things work together for good for them that love you. God, I believe he loves you. And I pray, God, that you will continue to empower him. Touch his wife. Touch his children. Touch his grandchildren. Strengthen them in every way, form, or shape. Jesus, without you, we are nothing. So God, I am praying that the power of God will come upon that family in the name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in their life. Have your way in their life, Jesus. Let the grace of God, the power of God, the anointing of God, and the Holy Spirit of God touch them from the crown of their head and to the sole of their feet. Wash them in the blood of Jesus. Sanctify them. Lord, take over fully control and have your way in their life. Lord, I bring the elders, the deacon and the trustee before you. And I'm praying for wisdom. I'm praying for knowledge. And I am praying for understanding. That Lord, when they meet together to make decisions, God, your presence will be with them. Take over fully control, Lord. There is nothing I can do. But I know a man who can. His name is Jesus. I know a man who can. His name is Jesus. Intervene, Lord. Jesus, remember the, the members and the visitors. The children, the praise and worship team, the musician, the nurse, and the staff. Every department in Lucy Pentecostal Church this morning, I pray God. That the power of God, the hands of God, the anointing of God, and the blessing of God will touch, heal, deliver, and set free. God, you are the way maker. Every way that looks like it cannot, God, you will know it can. So I leave everything into your care. And I said, Jesus, take over fully control and have your way. In the name of Jesus. To God be the glory, great and wonderful things you have done and greater to come. Jesus, you are the way maker. There is no other way but you. Continue, Jesus, to shine your light in dark situation. Continue to shine your light in the life of people who is going through dark situation. Lord, you are the only one who can make change. You are the only one who can fix things. You are the only one who can deliver people. You are the only one who can call out of darkness into light. Jesus, you call me out of my dark place into your marvelous light. And here I am. I am bouncing in the glory of God. I am bouncing in the glory of God. I am wrapped up in the glory of God. I am tied up in the glory of God. I am tangled up in the glory of God. And I'm here to tell the world that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he is alive and well. He is in the word and the word is in him. And if you live in the word and live 
Ekerebe shika babai sokoto robo shanda mama makonde rebe saka babai sokoto. Yes, Lord. Jesus said to tell you, if you live in the word, you live in him. Because he is the word and the word is him. Hey, hey, babai shakoto. Yes, Lord. Live in my word. My word is me. Abide in me and I abide in you. If you abide in my word, I will abide in you. Kerebe shika babai sakata. Yes, Lord. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for what you have done this morning. Thank you for what you have done this morning. And thank you for what you are about to do in the rest of my life. As I continue to believe in you, trust in you, worship you, honor you, glorify you, praise in you, and thank you, Jesus, for your goodness and for your mercy and for your tender care towards me. Lord, I thank you for this day. Bless this day one more time, Lord. Lord, every person this day, as we go through this day, let the grace of God, the mercy of God, the power of God go with us through this day. Lord, bless, heal, deliver, and set free every person today as we go through this day. Lord, whoever we meet, let we meet and greet in the name of Jesus. Let us show love to one another. Let us respect one another because Jesus, you are love. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. Thank you. To my viewers and my subscribers, my followers, wherever you are, night or day, watching, the grace of God, the mercy of God, the power of God, the anointing of God, and the Holy Spirit of God is upon you. God bless you, God guide you, and God protect you. Don't forget to share this video with someone. Someone who not yet accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, this is a word for you. If you accept Jesus Christ and you're struggling, you don't know where to turn, this is a word for you. Jesus is said to tell you that I am the light of the world. I shine my light in you that you can see clearly the word of Jesus. Follow the word of God. Read the word of God. It is the light of the world. God bless you. God bless you. Catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace and love. God bless.